Not funny. Have an interview. Okay, I'm helping. Sir, pretty great, Victoria. Thank you. Do you mind if I give you my phone number? Wait. Uh, I gotta get this. Thought I was the only one under 80 who read the Gazette. I like it too. Wait, are you gonna take this train tomorrow? Why don't you write into that newspaper you both like? You mean like a misconnection? You're a genius, Alex. I'd say if you haven't heard from her in like five years, then it probably wasn't meant to be. Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't think so. I'm sure you seem really familiar to me. Are you the future Mrs. James Miller? I am. I'm your wedding photographer. Just don't get me killed a week before I'm supposed to get married. See you bright and early for wedding photos. Did you really want this photographer hanging around all weekend or were you just being nice? Morning, bride. Do you have the Brooklyn Gazette? Brooklyn Gazette. I feel like we may have gotten off on the wrong foot. Truce? Truce. Gigi! <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Miller. We would have loved a little ceremony in Duluth. Okay. We're all going to be one big happy family. When do you think you'll get here? I've got one work thing left that I can't get out of. He's actually James's height. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Never really been someone's uh, consolation prize before. Whoa, move over, vote. Oh. You know, if you wanted a hug, you could have just asked. I can't shake the feeling that I know him. Being around you makes me feel like maybe I could get further find something even better if I took more risks. There she is. James, finally. <laughs> Max, right? Thanks for taking all those amazing photos while I was chained to my desk. Which font do you prefer for the seating arrangements? You're a really lucky guy. Nice wife, nice life. You are so much more than somebody's nice wife. You're just a passing stranger I met one time on a train clock. You remember, you feel this. Leave. I don't know what your gut is saying, but I say you should go with it. It was pushing back my flight because of cold feet. I thought you wanted all this. I think we know what we have to do. It looks like we won't be getting married today. Wait! James is a great guy, but he's not the right guy for you. I well, I might have looked up that misconnection you posted. Let's not miss another shot. Couldn't have said it better myself. Sure.